Okay, so I just finished a session of hot yoga and it felt amazing. And I'm like, how can I keep my day going healthy and feeling good? And I'm like, let's do a DIY hair mask. And one of my favorite things is avocado. So I looked up a hair mask using avocado. I'm assu I assumed that it's full and rich, it's good for your hair, the oils. So I looked it up and it is good for your hair. So I'm going to do a mask and I'm gonna give you guys all the ins and outs of how well it works and if it works and how my hair feels and all that good stuff. I have my trusty ponio in, my hair feels like it needs love. Uh, you're gonna see it does look a little dry. So I'm hoping that this mask really gives it some life, makes it feel smooth and good. So from what I've read, treating your hair with avocado will strengthen and repair your hair, which Lord knows I need it. After being at the beach and just kind of like outside 24 seven in Texas, your hair really like takes a beating. That's why I love my Ponyo is because it doesn't add to the breakage that the outside world does. So this actually saves my hair um, because the hair ties will rip my hair out. They will damage it. This guy loves on my hair, hugs my hair and does not break it. So important. On to the mask. Just need an avocado. This one's pretty ripe. And then your handy dandy Coconut oil, lots of nutrients in it. Great for your hair, smoothing, detangling, just good overall, even for skin. If you don't have it in your cupboard, go get it because it's good for literally everything. All right, so I'm going to cut the avocado up. And actually this one's pretty, I'm gonna eat this one. This one's pretty good. I would've put this in a salad, but I'm gonna put it in my hair. Here's my bowl. Um, and I don't have a spoon on me and I don't feel like stopping. So we are going to just get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. Boop. Same thing with this, I'm gonna just scoop it and put it in the bowl. You just kinda get a handful and drop it in. Boom. I guess I could keep going with my hands, but I'm gonna use a fork and kinda mash it together. There's a myth that moisturizing your hair with oils uh, causes color fade, which is absolutely false. It actually helps protect your hair from fading, help maintain, help soften, and help smooth. What's great about DIY masks is that they save you money give you the same or more nutrients because it's the actual raw version of what's in those hair masks. Way to save money and way to get that same effect that these like $100 masks give you. So the goop goes in the hair. I'm gonna start at the tips and then work my way to the roots. I'm gonna go in sections to make sure I cover every strand. So if this fails, you don't have to do this. <laughs> Cause I've already done it. I have a good feeling about this one though. I know these ingredients are like super food for your skin, nails, hair. I'm gonna go ahead and twist that so it doesn't get all like gross and messy everywhere. Even though it's kind of like there's no hiding the mess. So if you're doing this, put like a trash bag below you or like towels. Cause my floor is green. My hair's not gonna turn green, is it? Oh my God, it looks green. My stylist will kill me if I come in with green hair. It's a little clumpy. Maybe I should have mixed it a little bit more. It's green. What did I expect? It's avocado, it's green, it's gonna be green. I did read that you don't wanna leave it in long because especially for blonde hair, because it can turn it green, which was my fear. Okay, now that we are here, we are going to put the pony on. Um, I say this in every mask, what's nice is it will wash off. So that's gonna come off of the ponyo uh, and be brand new after just soap water, boom, done. Also, it doesn't soak up the nutrients. So if you put a hair tie in, if you put something that's cloth in your hair, it's, or you know, a scrunchie, it's gonna take the nutrients and it's gonna soak it up. This guy doesn't, it. it's silicone, it does not soak up any of the nutrients. And when you take it out, you're not gonna have to cut it out. When you put in, put your hair up in a ponytail, uh, when it's wet like this, the cuticles are open. So that gives you more room for damage. So the pony is not gonna damage it. It hugs your hair. I'm gonna do a nice bun so that it's like less messy. It doesn't get like on my neck. So we're gonna do two fingers. Just do a little bubble. Boom, squeeze, bend and bend. All right. See y'all in 60. I am back and my hair is in green. I'm so excited about it. Do not leave it in for too long if you have blonde hair because it, it will turn your hair green. I washed it out in about 45 minutes. It said 60, I was like nervous, so I washed it out. Look at the volume and shine my hair has right now. Is it magic? Yes. Do I love it? Also, yes, love it. I'm definitely gonna do this one again. I'm pretty blown away. Guys, the shine is pretty incredible. It didn't weigh my hair down, like I still have this like nice volume. 
Wow. Another thing that I used during this is a scrubby. I scrubbed my head with it in the shower and it really like got in my scalp, which was nice. I got it on Amazon, super cheap. Uh, I think it was like five bucks. So it's good for shampoo, conditioner, like to really get in there, but definitely good for masks. Highly recommend this guy. Of course, I recommend the Ponyo. Um, this is the exact same one I used um, when the mask was in my hair, and now it is clean and ready to be put back in my head. They're incredible, non-damaging. That is key and comfortable, light, gives your hair fuller, thicker ponytail. You really can't go wrong with them. So ponios and avocados go hand in hand.